process of of um, looking for the gold, as as Dr. Sanchez said. And to tell you the truth, I was moving right along. Things were going fabulous. And over vacation, one of the things is my sister wanted, when she passed away, she wanted her ashes to be in my cousin's backyard. And so um, we had a little ceremony. And here I thought I was making progress. And every emotion that I could possibly have came flooding back in real time. So here I'm, I'm using the system. I'm renewing my mind. I'm deploying the drone. I'm shedding some things. And I was back to square one. Well, the beautiful thing is about this system is that not only does it apply to grief, it can apply to business, it can apply, apply to your personal life. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to use my life as an example through Dr. Sanchez so that we can really understand this program of renewing the mind because right now we all have issues. I mean, we're all going through it. Uh, I see on TV uh, Boeing is allowing these uh, airplanes to fly through the sky that they know have a faulty fuselage. Well, considering that I'm traveling next week too, I'm, a, I'm concerned about that. You know, I'm concerned they have, they have a, uh, uh, a, a video now on our news feed that shows evidently a UFO. Well, okay, in addition to working and getting where I need to be, uh-oh, now I got to worry about UFOs. I got to worry about how these UFOs are going to affect my window washing business, how they're going to affect my golf game. I mean, it's James, it's almost too much. But anyway, I think that, and I, I don't think, I know that the information that you guys are going to get on this show with Dr. Sanchez is going to be of great benefit. So with that, we're going to bring the doc in. Hello, Dr. Sanchez. Hello, brother. Hey, I need to apologize to you real quick. That UFO you saw was my drone. I deployed it to check you out. Oh, well, all right. I'm looking around the <laughs> studio, but I can tell you this much. Fox News evidently picked up on it. So I, if, yeah, if it's a drone late. to make sure that I'm okay, then, then fantastic. So uh, what have you been up to since we last spoke? Well, we just took a uh, group of 10 men down to, uh, actually nine men, uh, down to St. Louis to see Ben Newman. Ben Newman used to be the performance coach for the Bison. Now he's the performance coach for K-State, among other professional teams. And uh, we took our business mastermind group down and saw him and some of his speakers, including Jerry Rice, of all people. What? You know, Jackie Joyner, Kersey. Come on, bro. Like, you know, and then we level up all the people on the team. And then uh, we saw an NHL hockey game, and then on Sunday, we did an intimate living legacy mastermind where we get real, you know, and I always say this, like, you know, we do things better together with the brotherhood because the most important thing you know about brothers, you know, men loving on men, is that we notice this thing called universality. Mm -hmm. And what opens people up is when you look across the table and John's telling his story, and then I look across John and I just fist bump him across the table. And I'm like, brother, I get you mm -hmm. because we're the same. Right. And when, when we express our pain, we realize, bro, I went through that three years ago. Or I might be like, hey, can I get your number? I'm freaking in the middle of that now. I'm stuck, bro. And then now you can guide me. And, and the crazy thing about masterminds is, you know, you, could, you don't need me to help you download a dude who can give you seven steps of successful people or something. Right. There's too much of that. Right. What people don't know is how do I dig out when I'm stuck? Right. Right. That is, and that's, that is, what, that's what you and I have been walking through. Oh, more than that. And, I, and it's interesting because I couldn't wait to get home. Number one, because when it, when it, like I said, I got stuck when we have right. that memorial service for my sister. And it was like I was back to square one. And so I'm, I'm excited because people get to see the renewing your mind, renewing the mind program in action through me so with yes. that we're off and running uh the uh you said did you get any autographs that's what i was going to ask you yeah unfortunately no they said you can't because uh those are for this elite people who paid you know kind of an elite price to get madness that. So, madness yeah yeah madness. but but i did hear i did hear jerry rice man i did hear him it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing it's so true how you do one thing is how you do everything you know that 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 dude runs businesses like you know, he's still making a six-yard catch and running 100 yards after practice kind of day, you know. <laughs> so 
Wow. So absolutely worth it. How you do one thing is how you do everything. Correct. Wow. So <clears throat> we're, we're going to, I want to do a quick review of, of the, the steps in renewing okay. the mind. And actually, I'm not going to do a review because who knows, I might mess it up. But let's just give an overview of renewing the mind and what it is. Perfect. So renewing the mind is the ability, is the ability to see yourself in a new light to see yourself in a new position or a new situation. And so there's three steps, okay? Number one, renew your perspective. Number two, move toward the uncertainty. Number three, we're going to find what was awesome about the thing that made me stuck. So it's renew, move, find. So step one as, you know, John's in California hanging out with the family, mm-hmm. you know, he has to renew his perspective. Like, my sister's gone forever. That's right. a fact. But the idea that I'll never get past this, no, that's a perspective. The idea that my life will never be the same, possibly. The idea that I'll never be able to heal, no, that's a lie. And you have to literally talk to your self-talk in order to renew your perspective because what we don't realize is we have seven thoughts per second, seven thoughts per second. We get flooded. And as long as I'm moving, most of those flies like just fly off my head and I'm good. But as soon as I sit down seven per second, seven per second, right. I'm overwhelmed. Right. So and what I'm going to do is get stuck. They stop moving. Uh, I, I got to interrupt you because James yes. says we're already up against the break. When we come back, we'll do more with Dr. Sanchez. If you want to call in the phone number is 701 293 this is Talk of the Town with John Adams. We'll see you on the other end of the break.
Welcome back to Talk of the Town with John Adams. Big James Games spinning the wheels. That was, excuse me, holy smokes. That was, uh, you got me all jacked up there in that 10-second clip. I was trying to see if I could get you a little off balance here as we came back from break. Well, you got me all hyped up now. <laughs> so, so we're going to continue on with Dr. Sanchez. Uh, say, one of the things we want to do on this program is the content that we give, we want people to be able to duplicate as well as, as well as be able to take what we're talking about and use that content in their lives. So, Dr. Sanchez, if people want to look at the program, Renewing the Mind, where would they go? So the first thing they can do is they can go to www.dr, then Raul, R-A-U-L, Sanchez, S-A-N-C-H-E-Z dot com. So Dr. Raul Sanchez dot com. We've got our courses, online courses up. We're starting a, a dad's parenting group, a single mom parenting group. We have some brain training programs, of course, uh, speak, keynote speaking opportunities, um, and some coaching, some living legacy coaching, executive coaching. They can find me there. Another spot they can find me is on YouTube. This is with my son, Tyler. YouTube is Renewing the Mind Podcast. Renewing the Mind Podcast. And you'll see a picture of my face with my son's face. He's got a beard. There's a lot of videos there that we walk through, renew, move, find on every episode. Uh, one that would kind of fit best with here, it's called The Contrast at Christmas. It's basically losing my mother-in-law, right, you know, December 18th, and my wife walking through this process. So that's one. There's another one that's just called Anxiety. I think it's like three years old. Picture of my son and myself on the, on the, on the face there. Again, walking through these things with these steps. And it can be applied to everywhere. Like the, you'll see a bunch of different videos on resiliency, family boundaries, balance, um, how to react instead of, uh, you know, just like responding angrily. Just there's a bunch of videos on there. So YouTube is a great place to just study on your own. My website is a great place to connect with me if you want me to come speak or coach your business or et cetera. So I can only assume that I get the brotherly love discounts if I were to uh, have you come up and speak. <laughs> Absolutely, brother, because uh, you're at the mentorship level, so I help you for free. You help my golf game for free. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, uh, <clears throat> I would be delighted to help your golf game. I went out and played. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I played okay. It wasn't yeah. outstanding, but you know what? I'm encouraged by the possibilities and all the guys that know me at the golf course. I said the same thing every year, and it's yet to play out. But uh, I'm looking to take down Jimmy Johnson, uh, <clears throat> some of the other guys. Travis, you better get your game ready. Scott, Andy, you guys know the deal. Anyway, with that, let's continue with renewing the mind. So we had been talking about we, – we went over the basic three steps. And so, yes. <clears throat> one of, like I said uh, in my intro, one of the things that happened was it seemed like after my sister's memorial service, I was back to square one. Yes, yes. And that, that's a great, a great concept because here's the idea. Most people don't want to get triggered. But unfortunately, the time to get triggered is literally in real time. And if I bring you into my office and I trigger you, you're kind of prepared for it. And so, like, everything else gets pushed off the table. We handle one thing at a time, and that's okay. That's like learning in training wheels. Mm -hmm. But in real time, you're in line, you're getting a coffee, and everything is great. And all of a sudden, one of, you, one of your siblings says something to you that triggers you, and now you're stuck. Right. That's, that's where the money is, brother. If you can just say, okay, and here's the idea. When you're stuck, I don't have to figure it out. I don't have to manage anything. I just have to identify what just happened. So the first thing to do this is where this is under step one. So step one, renewing my perspective. What we say under step one is deploy the drone. Right. So imagine that, you know, I've got a drone that's six feet, six, six feet behind you, six feet like in the air, so it can see you in 3D. It sees all your pieces. Right. Just close your eyes, take a deep breath, and ask this question. Okay, what just happened to me? Not what's wrong with me, because nothing's wrong with you. Something impacted you. Something hit you. Somebody bumped you. But it's emotional. So now right. I just have to just say, hey, what, what just hit me? And you'll say, okay, that word my sister said. And then all of a sudden you identify the word. Okay, it was that word, right? Let's say lost. I feel lost. All of a sudden now I feel lost. Now, John's like, dang, that, that made me feel lost. And now you identify the feeling. What feeling comes with I'm feeling lost? Then you're like, loneliness, man. I got this overwhelming loneliness right now. Okay, so I'm lost and I'm lonely. Mm -hmm. Okay, if somebody asked you, hey, John, I'm feeling lost and lonely, what would you tell them to do as a businessman? What would you tell them to do as a father, as a husband? And you'll pop it right there. Boom. Because that, when we see in 3D, we all can heal each other. We all help. 
when we're stuck on our own drone, like our, our own eyes, we can't see it. So we have to deploy the drone to be able to see a new perspective, right? So basically, I'm going to be talking to myself and giving myself uh, self-talk. Hey, you know, in this situation, it might be good to, like one of the things was, is my niece and nephew were there. And um, <clears throat> just going to them and, and hugging them and, and talking a little bit, it it, it helped. It didn't, it, of course, it didn't take the feeling away, but it being able to talk to them, we, we were able to get to, you know, she's in a better place. The one overriding theme of, of my sister's death is that it seems like our family has become closer, okay? And I, I'm talking about the whole, you know, cousins, aunts, you know, it seems like there's a little more appreciation for people. Yes, that's correct. And, and the major two things that hit, one is self-protection. I'm just going to hide. I'll manage this myself. And the second thing that normally happens is we grow better together. So the more you interact together, the more you talk, like maybe even talk to your sister like you know, once every three months, but now you're talking every three days. And so that's how you get closer. Everybody moves in the same direction. That universality of like we're in this together, that really does help heal. What happens when the group is stuck? Because it, <laughs> when, when, <yeah. laughs> so it no, sounds to me point. like there's a whole lot of talking that's going on through the process. And, and <clears throat> above all, um, we didn't want to talk about it. They were all just kind of quiet, and it's like, man, this is this this hits too hard, you know? Yes, yes, correct. And and the idea is, you have to be aware of your self talk. Like, look, if you and I went out to food, you know, I don't know, we're at Fuddruckers or something, and we look at the board, you talk you you talk to yourself twenty four seven. Like, man, I'll take this. Oh, dude, I want pickles right now. Oh, I got a business meeting. I don't want to take onions right now. Like, there's self talk twenty four seven. Okay. And, but when we get stuck, we stop our self-talk, and then all of a sudden fear starts talking, and 100% of our self-talk becomes fear-based, so it pins us. And so if you can identify the fear, identify what hit you, all you have to do is be aware of it. I don't have to fix it. I don't have to manage it. I just have to be aware. So, for example, let's go back to my thing like, okay, I'm feeling lonely right now. Yeah. I don't have to do anything about it. I don't have to manage it. I don't have to fix it. I just have to be aware because then you can say, okay, what do I need now? Like, I'm going to go hug my nephew. I'm going to go sit by my sister. Right, and you just sit by your other sister, and you're just hanging out. Like I'm just aware now that I I'm lonely. Yes. Okay, because mm -hmm. renewing your perspective is just about building awareness. Okay. Does it make sense? Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. So <clears throat> one of, one of the um, so we talked about that process. Um, okay. But uh, it seems like the healing starts over and over and over, and it's funny because. For me, I realize that it's a process and it takes time, but yes. the process is draining. Yes, it is. And so it's like, all right, how do how do I get out of this this emotional drain, you know? And so yes. you know, you talk about finding the gold. And so yes. it's like, okay, my self talk. I I found the gold. You know, I'm like, hey, she's in a better place. You know, we're close together. Um, <clears throat> but then it's like, okay. I still can't look toward tomorrow. And so it's like, God, I can't stand the moment. I, I don't feel like thinking about tomorrow. The self-talk, not allowing that negativity in, what, what, how do we move? And I understand what you said previous, but that's the overriding theme is it's like it, it's so overwhelming when you lean into it. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it, and you talk about not trying to fix it. But as you know, as men, we're fixers, you know? Yeah. And so, so it's like, you know, if I got a flat tire, immediately my mind goes to, how do I fix it? How do I, you know, where do I need to go? What yes. do I need to do? So I've deployed the drone in this situation, and <clears throat> the process of shedding is something that also, it, it, it's like, um, it's almost like if I hang on to it, my sister's still here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so it's yeah. like, man, if I shed it, I'm going to lose a piece of her. So let's talk about that in the regards to renewing the mind. Okay, okay. So, so you, you talked about the process in step two. Uh, the finding the goal is step three, so we'll put that on hold for a second. So, okay, let's go back to the example. So, like, I've identified that, like, I feel lonely. I identified that, like, I might want to go hide. Like, I don't want to be here right now. Like, I'm stuck. So when I was like, okay, I want to fix this, just know there's no way to fix it. We can't go back in time. Fixing doesn't exist. We're all moving toward healing. Another word for healing is acceptance. So I'm, I'm marching toward acceptance. 
So now step two is move toward the uncertainty. The uncertainty in this example is I don't know if I'm ever going to not feel lonely. Right. Every time I think about my sister, I'm going to feel lonely. So now I move toward the uncertainty of like what could help me not feel lonely when loneliness hits. So I would tell you to get one of those cool programs where you get a, um, a frame and you load pictures of your sister. Mm-hmm. You, can even, you can even change the, the background pictures. I would just flood it with your sister. And so when you open up your phone and you're feeling lonely, you hit that little program, all of a sudden your picture, your sister's picture slide through. Now, people go this all the time. They're like, dude, that's going to trigger me worse. Right. I might feel even worse. Even when you Correct. said it, I was like, Correct. yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, so you're, so you're not going to do that when you're driving. You're not going to do that like heading to a business meeting. Right. That's going to be something you hit at home when you're in bed or you're laying on the couch and I have time to process. Right now, I'm moving. I've identified that my thing that I have to fix is actually feeling lonely. Okay. But right now, I ain't got time for that. Okay. So right now, my moving reminds me three things. Or actually, excuse me, four things. That's Hang on one second. Jim, Big Game James says we're up against the break. We're going to continue on. If I, if I get sidetracked, Raul, please, let's bring, bring back to this point. It seems like right when we get to the meat of it, we have to go to break. But okay. if we don't pay people, we can't stay on the air. So this is Talk of the Town with John Adams. If you want to call in, the phone number is 701-293-9000. Theraldson Ethanol invites you to trade in your job for a career. Just west of Castleton sits one of the nation's largest ethanol facilities, a 170 million gallon per year ethanol plant. Come join a work family of dedicated team members helping North Dakota lead the energy revolution. Pay starting at seventy-five to eighty thousand per year, plus benefits, bonuses, incentives, and more. If your job is just a job, trade it in for a career at Thurlson Ethanol. Apply online right now at thurlsonethanol.com. The mission of Olivet Lutheran Church in Fargo is to tell the story of Jesus' love for all people without exception. Worship with us Sunday mornings at eight thirty at our traditional service, ten thirty at our contemporary service, or Wednesday evenings at six with a dinner before. We offer Sunday and Wednesday school for children pre-K through fifth grade and confirmation for students in grades six through 10. For more information, go to olivet.org. Encounter Jesus, experience grace at Olivet Lutheran Church. Hello from the WDA Y News Center. I'm Ty Schoenert with your news update. A Grand Forks woman charged with multiple crimes following a domestic dispute over the weekend. Police called to a local apartment complex Sunday. Officers said they spotted 23-year-old Loderica Banks walking down a staircase holding two knives with blood on her hand. Police say she slashed a boyfriend's tires during an argument, getting blood from her hand on the officer's face when she pushed him away. Her children also reportedly present. Banks facing multiple charges, including including terrorizing. Controversy continuing over the sudden resignation of the FM Diversion Authority Director, Joel Paulson. How can, but how can they push him out? You're the Diversion Authority. How can they do this? No, they did this before we That's even knew That's what I'm saying. About. How could they do this? You can't do that. Commissioner Papcorn speaking on the Jay Thomas show. Paulson releasing a statement to inform that the release was due to, quote, irreconcilable differences over contract language. He believed it would also increase risks. And Clay County Sheriff Mark Emting releasing the name of the U man who died in a suspected drunk driving crash Saturday night happening after 1130 in the area of the 18,000 block of 250th Street North northwest of Yulin. The victim 43 year old Sonny Severson the other driver involved arrested identified as 53 year old Lake Park resident Dean Thompson charged with felony first degree driving while impaired the crash remains under investigation I'm Ty Schoenert with the WDAY Radio Now.com first at the news when you need to know Pucklet Chevrolet Buick GMC in Valley City makes it easy to find your next Chevrolet Buick GMC or pre-owned vehicle by offering a great selection at our best prices possible. Mainly cloudy to partly sunny at times for today with a few sprinkles around the area. We'll have high temperatures in the lower 50s with a west-northwest wind 15 to 30 miles per hour. Tonight, a few sprinkles continue that may mix in with some snow, mainly west of the Red River as we drop down to lows in the lower to mid-30s. And on your Thursday, again, a few sprinkles throughout the day. Temps in the mid-40s with a west wind 15 to 30 and partly sunny skies. From the WDAY Skywatch Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Justin Storm. 
Huffy's Fine Jewelry closing sale is in our final days. We are still in the Moorhead Center Mall for your final jewelry purchases. Additional markdowns taken. We still have some beautiful jewelry that needs a home, such as a 1.93 carat diamond ladies clustering. Was 6500 now 2900 Puffy's Fine Jewelry in the Moorhead Center Mall is in its final days. Stop in to reserve showcases, jewelry tools, and the vault. Puffy's Final Days closing sale going on now. Okay, Fargo Force fans, your top-seeded Force team is ready to host the playoffs. The Fargo Force has been the best team in the league all season, and they want you in the stands for the first two home playoff games this week. The Force will host the winner of the Sioux Falls Tri-City matchups and be ready for action. So bring your friends and family to cheer on the Force in their first two playoff games with the first game either Friday or Saturday. Get your tickets at Shields Arena box office or at FargoForce.com. Come for the hockey, stay for the fun. This is Talk of the Town with John Adams on WDAY Radio. <clears throat> Welcome back to Talk of the Town with John Adams. I have to say, big game, James, you are definitely talented when it comes to intro and outro music. So, I'm just listening to what Jacob told me to play. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, this is, that, that's on him. I'm resurrecting his old his playlist he had for you. Wow, so Jacob left, <laughs> he left strict instructions as to how he's supposed to roll on the talk of the town. Huh? He did. He also told me I shouldn't talk on the show either, but you know what? I break some rules. Well, you know what? <clears throat> if he wanted to have that much of a hand in it, he shouldn't have left, but <laughs> we wish him the best. And So we're going to continue on because we got to a very important part of the process of renewing the mind, and that's the move, the move piece or the move uh, portion of, of the program. And during the break, uh, Dr. Sanchez and I were talking about the fact that looking at pictures of my sister, you know, flooding myself with these great memories, it's almost like an inoculation or a vaccine. So uh, let's continue along there because I think that's vital. It, it's probably the most vital piece because it forces me to hit it head on. And, and I'm not looking forward to it, but um, <clears throat> I think that if this is the process of healing, sometimes we have to walk through difficult situations to get to the other side. If I could use a sports analogy, nothing ever comes easy in sports, and there's a lot of work that goes into being great. You know, If you want to be a champion, you have to do the hard work and it's no different than what we're talking about today. And we're talking about loss, and we're talking about the emotion of loss. We're talking about leaning on. So go ahead, uh, leaning in. So go ahead, Doctor Sanchez. We were we were talking about the move piece. That's correct. So we're on step two, moving toward uncertainty. And in this case, you're dealing with loneliness. You pull up some of your sister's pictures. It triggers you too much. It's heavy too much. It's like I'm overwhelmed, and so now I get stuck. And so what we want to do here is I don't have to press into the pain now. I can leave the pain now. I've identified the pain. It's loneliness, and when I see my sister, it makes me miss her, so I back away. You're okay. You just have to be identifying that's where I'm at. The move steps is the, is the word move, M-O-V-E. The first piece you do now is you go to music. And now you don't play a playlist that hers. You play a playlist that lifts you up. Uh, to, truth be told, all right, I, I'm a Michael Jackson fan. So, like, sometimes when I'm kind of feeling down some kind of way, I'll put on a Michael Jackson playlist, okay, and then I go work out. My kids come in and be like, oh, dad's in his groove again, you know. Yeah, I'm finding my stride again, man. Like, so that's music. Step one, M, music. Step two, O, outdoors. Get outside. Take a walk. Go hit some golf balls. Take your dog out. Get out of your head by moving outdoors. Step three, visualize. Artist-type people, they'll just start drawing. They'll start doodling. they start making some pictures. Uh, people who are wordsmiths, they'll start writing a poem, and you're visualizing a better day. There's visualizing a time when I can integrate and heal and accept where I'm at and where my sister's at. The last one is exercise. So any type of exercise works. Like one of the coolest exercises you could do is you walk on a brisk pace like you're late for a very important job interview. And we've all seen, like we laugh about it, but we've all seen, you know, the older ladies walking, pumping their arms, just getting it. Right. And that actually does count as like a low impact hit training workout. So you're moving, but you get stuck. What do I do? I don't go back into the pain now. I've already identified it. Now I kind of escape the pain a little bit, but I'm still going to move my mind. I'm going to use music. I'm going to use outdoors. I'm going to visualize. 
I'm going to exercise. Now, obviously, like I pair a couple, you know, I go on a run and listen to music. That's pairing three. I'll listen to music and work out. That pairs two. So the more you can pair there, that's your move steps. You're moving through the pain. I'm taking notes because uh, most certainly. So I, I was looking at this list, and, and it's funny because I listen to music all the time. Unfortunately, it's not Michael Jackson. It's usually uh, uh, at lately it's been J. Cole. And so, okay. uh, you know, I, um, I love music. And, and it's funny that you say that because a lot of times when I'm trying to reset, gospel music brings me back to center a lot of the time. So th- this this move concept, that's probably the most significant thing that you've said in terms of trying to get back to what I call center. Yes. Trying to be able to be okay. Because yes. it, it's like I always say that grief or, or issues are like a roller coaster. And you ride the highs and the lows. And so in the sure. highs, we typically don't need any sort of um, any sort of uh, uh, motivation. We just have it. You know, we're feeling good. We're going out golfing this and that. But sitting in the lows. And the one thing that I, I, I talk to my family about is you can't stay in the lows. And so this move piece, it, it, it's so great because it allows you an avenue to get back to center. That's right. That's right. Because I don't have to fix anything, right? I just have to find one thing that I can do. Doing is the key. One thing that I can do that keeps my emotional momentum moving. And those move steps are it. So <clears throat> now the question is, and this was the big one, is that <clears throat> so now I've got myself where I need to be. How do I incorporate this with my nieces or my cousins or my brothers? Because now all of a sudden I become a mentor to this process. And the one thing I, I will say is that in doing this, I believe, and this is, this is my own personal philosophy, um, exuding confidence and positivity and putting that blanket on other people helps us heal, right? I mean, I just yes. believe that for me, I have to maintain, and I, actually not that I have to, I get to. And so I've always said, I don't have many down days, you know? And I refuse yes. to stay in it, but, but it, it, it's interesting because in this particular instance, even, even I am having trouble maintaining where I need to be. And so now I have that piece where I'm trying to maintain myself. You know, when you fly, they always tell you if the mask drops down out of the ceiling, put your mask on first before assisting others. So when we're talking about renewing the mind, how does that work in that process? Yeah, that that, that airplane analogy is perfect because I can't teach you what I don't know. I can't lead you unless I've led me. So the change has to start within me. And so as I've renewed my perspective with the drone, I found out what I'm dealing with. Uh, That's that's the loneliness. I've moved through my pain now, and I hit a wall. I'm stuck, so now I use my move steps. I pick music, and I pick exercise. And now I'm feeling a little bit better about me. I see my nephew. He's a little down. I walk up to him, and here's where we have the issue. I'm going to heal or help teach somebody else. And as you know this, John, thinking about golf, as you teach something, you renew your steps to get it done, so you master it. You become a master by teaching. Yes. So you ask, you go to your nephew and you say, hey, do I have permission to ask you a question? So one way we help people heal is I need permission. The next way, I'll ask him, hey, are you willing to allow me to lead you? So we either need permission or need a willingness. And the, the issue is, if I'm not willing, you can talk till you're blue in the face, bro, but yes. I've learned zero because I'm thinking in my head, when's this over, dude? When's this dude going to shut up? Like, dude, just give me the freak out of here. And I might jump up and be like, sorry, bro, uh, those nachos and, you know, that, that carne asada is going through me, man. I got to go. And I just might just go hide in the bathroom because I can't handle it. You've triggered me. You've, you've pushed me into the wall. Now I just want to, like, I'm going to scream because I can't handle it. Right. So I need, you to, I need you to ask for permission. Or I need you to ask, hey, Sanchez, are you willing for me to let you go listen to me, what I've been doing? This is work. This works for me. Right. Make sense? Yes, sir. Absolutely. It makes sense. So, <clears throat> so uh, again, if, if people want to incorporate this show along with, with what you do, you have a, it's a website and then you have YouTube videos. That's the way it works? That's correct. So, Renewing the Mind podcast, just search us up on YouTube. 
We're also on Spotify, Apple, uh, iTunes, anywhere else you find your favorite Holy podcast. Holy moly. That's yeah, high, and we, that's high we got a lot stuff. of videos. Are you on, you yeah. said you're on Spotify? Yes. Spotify, that's Apple, correct. and YouTube. Yep. Anywhere you find your favorite podcast and, re, and on, on YouTube, Renewing the Mind Podcast. That's correct. And then and my personal website, business website, is www.dr, so D-R, and then RaulSanchez.com, R-A-U-L-S-A-N-C-H-E-Z.com. Thank you very much. First of all, I want to apologize to everybody. I don't know if you can hear me sniffling and sneezing and stuff like that. It is allergy season for me, and uh, I get it bad, you know, with the change in weather and, and all of that stuff. And I think what happened is being in warm California, when we got back, it was in the 50s. And so uh, I'm struggling right now, and I apologize for the sniffling and the sneezing. But my body's going to do what my body's going to do. So right. <clears throat> um, if we had to put a fine bowl on it, what would you say are, are – um, well, I'll, I'll phrase it this way. I always look at when I'm speaking to people or I'm trying to help people, getting started. You yes. know, that's the single biggest – and it's, it's no different whether it's exercise, whether it's job-related. For me, I have ADD, so – I can get scattered and I can go a million places and never get anything done. But the process of getting started, let's talk about that with renewing the mind. Yes, yeah. And so the, the whole idea, the very first thing, remember, we're setting up perspectives. And so when people come in the very first time or I'm meeting with a, a brother of mine like you, mm -hmm. the very first thing I'll say is, hey, this is extremely difficult. And it's not a walk in the park. It's an uphill climb. We've got to equip our backpack. We've got to get on our boots. We've got to have a lot of water. One We've day. got to have a safe partner. It's a climb, bro. It's a climb. It's uphill. And, yes, we'll take breaks. And, yes, we might regress. But at the end of the day, we're going to hit our goal. We're going to get there. Because when we get there, you will have such a renewed mind that in the weirdest way possible, you will thank your sister for teaching you these lessons. Mm. Okay. So, <clears throat> James, well, we're up against the breaker. When we come back, I mean, I know that I know that the example was – and the content was my situation, but <clears throat> I said in our last show, renewing the mind can apply to business. It can apply to relationships. It doesn't necessarily be about death. It can be depression. It can be any number of things. So when we come back, we're going to talk about renewing the mind in all areas of your life. Because to me, this – the it, so – when we come back, we'll talk about it. I've got, I've got some things I want to say on the issue. Uh, this is Talk of the Town with John Adams. I'm on with Dr. Raul Sanchez, and we're talking about renewing the mind. When we come back, we'll wrap up the show with Dr. Sanchez, and we'll talk about the process of getting to where we need to be. This is John Adams with Talk of the Town. If you want to call in, the phone number is 701-293-9000. Spring will be here before you know it, so if you have a graduation or other special event coming up, you're going to want your home to look just right. So start thinking about freshening up your home with new flooring or carpet from FM Flooring and Ken Sox Hardwood Floors. Their staff has the experienced pros to help you choose carpet or flooring that fit your lifestyle needs and reflect your personal style. Stop in at FM Flooring and Ken Sox Hardwood Floors at 1919 Main Avenue in Fargo. Talk to Nancy and get your project underway and completed long before the big day so you can relax. There's no better time than now to upgrade or join the Harley-Davidson family. Now through April 30th at Harley-Davidson of Fargo, when you trade in any competitive on-road motorcycle for a new 2023 or 2024 Harley-Davidson, you'll get an incredible 120% of J.D. Power book value. But hurry, this deal is only available through the end of the month. Don't miss out on this unbeatable offer to upgrade your ride at Harley-Davidson of Fargo. Conveniently located off I-94 and Shine Street in West Fargo, Harley-Davidson of Fargo is your go-to destination for all things Harley. Featuring the great Greatest motorcycles ever made. The latest styles from the genuine Harley Davidson Motor Clothes Department, fully stocked parts and accessories department, and the best Harley Davidson service department around. Remember, now through April 30th, when you trade in any competitive on road motorcycle for a new 2023 or 2024 Harley Davidson, you'll get an incredible 120% of JD Power book value at Harley Davidson of Fargo. Offer valid only at Harley Davidson of Fargo through April 30, 2024. 120% JD Power book value will only be given when you trade your competitive brand motorcycle for a new untitled in stock 23 or 24 Harley Davidson motorcycle. For full terms and conditions, visit hdfargo.com. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, 
offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. This is Talk of the Town with John Adams on WDAY Radio. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. This is our final segment. I want to thank Dr. Raul Sanchez for, for be, being on with me because, uh, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, when it, when it comes to life, okay, none of us are getting out of here alive as far as I know, okay? But what's more than that is I talk about the positivity is Fargo-Moorhead, and, and I think this process, I'm hoping that um, this helps spread you know, and it's another system that helps people to, to get to where they need to be. For me, I've said it a number of times, and, and, and for me, being prayerful, being spiritual is at the heart of who I am. You know, it's at the heart of everything I do because I recognize that in the grand scheme of things, I, I'm, I'm no big deal. Now, <clears throat> it's interesting because if you know me, oh, I think I'm a big deal. But when life happens, you, you realize how, you know, in the, in the time-space continuum, we are here but a short time. And so a lot of times I, I lean into my faith and I'm prayerful and stuff like that. And I was talking to Dr. Sanchez during the break about where does spirituality fit in? And I'm not just talking about Christianity. It's, it's what you lean into, what your higher power is. So let's talk about renewing the mind in the spiritual context. Yes, sir. So Renewing the Mind um, was launched in 2004. I was praying. I was going to speak at a men's conference, and the Lord uh, sent me to Romans 12.2. And Romans 12.2 goes like this. It says, Do not any longer conform to the patterns of this world, comma, be transformed by the renewing of your mind, comma, so that you may test and approve that which is God's perfect and pleasing will for your life. Now, I separated those three, that, that, that one verse into these three pieces, renew, move, and find. So the whole process is spiritual. And I know we're, we're talking about loss right now, but mm-hmm. this is in relationships. Are, we just had a mastermind weekend in St. Louis. We walked through this whole process on the business. Mm-hmm. We also touched on men. They were all men there, so we focused on being a dad, a congruent dad. Like, I am a man of my word. I do what I say I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. And we attacked, we, we attacked the renew, move, find steps in being a father, in being a business leader, in being a man of God, in being that leader in the community that people see you. And so you are a man of your word. The renew, move, find steps applies to every single position. And what happens a lot of the time, even with Christians or people who are spiritual, they'll say this to me. They'll say, hey, I pray a lot, but prayer, prayer doesn't work or I've tried praying, maybe God just doesn't hear me, maybe, and I have to always help them and remember this, is look, people say this all the time, you know, the, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, mm-hmm. that's because you see its fruit. The best time after that, the second best time is today. And right. so I say prayer is your broadcasting seed. Your broadcasting seed. So how do we make seed grow? It's fertilizer, it's de-weeding, it's sunlight. It's some, some high-quality H2O, right? <laughs> and so, yeah, you got that. And so I want you to really focus on, like, what do I do with the seed? And so, yes, prayer works, and yes, prayer is enough. But in our world, in our mindset, in our give-it-to-me-now give, give it, give it generation, we don't realize what we're doing. We're casting and broadcasting seed, and we're then all of a sudden tealing the seed and making sure it's, it's protected. And then so all those activities, all those actions are in the move steps. Because while I'm waiting on God to answer my prayer, and perhaps he already did, because we have an example in the book of Daniel, Daniel 10.10, 10, uh, Daniel was praying, and he prayed 21 days. That's where people get the Daniel fast from. But the Bible says that the Lord responded to him on day one of his prayer. Mm. He says, I heard you from day one and sent an angel to you. But the prince of the power of the air over Persia intercepted him. In other words, Daniel's fasting and praying. God sent the answer. The answer got intercepted by a demon. A demon held him. And for 20 more days, Daniel continued to pray until another angel came. Literally, it's a game of chess, bro. A pawn got grabbed, and we had to call down a rook to let him go. 
Mm. And that's exactly what happened. And Daniel got his answer. So, yes, pray and pray and pray. And sometimes we feel like prayer is not enough, but you keep doing your activity and keep doing the, the behaviors that water and grow your seed, which is get around another prayerful person and pray together and to keep watching God to act while we continue to move in our move steps. And then this is the beauty. This is the beauty. At the end, renew, move, find. We're going to find what is that perfect and pleasing will of God, even in the midst of what we would call H-E double hockey sticks. Okay? <laughs> yes. Even in the midst of that, we go, dude, I would never in my life tell you that I would grow so much from a loss of my mother-in-law. Mm-hmm. She was a spiritual warrior. I'm not even kidding. Like people, everybody who knew her would stand up and give a talk, and they would say, Fran Fish was my best friend. Like you you heard it 31 times. Like everybody thought she was her best friend, and she was like this spiritual warrior, and we're praying and fasting, and she died. And we're like, dude, what? Broken, dude, broken. Like I'm an expert, but I needed help. I I couldn't do it myself. So I use my wife. She She uses me. We bounce each other off our kids. You know, we go to prayer sessions and we really fight. But the thing I want you to know is you don't have to fix it. You just have to keep moving. You just have to keep climbing. You just can't give up one day at a time. And all of a sudden you have these nuggets Then you go to people and you're like, hey, do I have permission to share a story with you? Mm -hmm. And boom, you have permission to help them heal. Absolute gold. Absolute gold. And so I want to thank you for being on the show. Uh, We just have a few minutes left. And and so uh, I want to say again... I will be doing a a mini podcast on this, marrying the first show, the second show, in conjunction with Dr. Sanchez, particularly on his YouTube videos. I would encourage everyone. You know, it it used to be that we were such a tight-knit community that you could go go to your minister, you could go to your teacher. Um, It seems like we've been fractured by social media, so a lot of the communication is lost, and, and nowhere is that more evident as in our young people. And so, yes. you know, if you're a parent out there and you're struggling to, to reach your, 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 your child, this is a good way to get back to center. And, and it's something that I think you can, that's a lifelong practice that you can lo- use. With that, this has been Talk of the Town with John Adams. I want to thank Dr. Raul Sanchez for coming on and talking about renewing the mind. Um, <clears throat> remember that next month is Mother's Day month. And with that... My shows, except for the first one, the next three weeks are going to be a salute to women in business, a salute to women in our community because, after all, without women, where would we be? Absolutely nowhere. This is John Adams. Thank you for tuning in to Talk of the Town, and as always, stay black. Mixed Markets at Midday. This is the American Ag Network of Jesse Allen.